spectacular in his last game against the Ottawa 67. So I expect him to be a tough matchup. And then if you look across the ice at the Edmonton Oil Kings, a really talented roster. So this is going to be a class of two monsters on the ice. And Jalen Lupin was so good in his second round matchup. Either one of these guys you could make a case for uh, meeting Riley Bizeau, who is the other half of the Seltos Division Final. He just got somewhat of an unorthodox victory over uh, the Lethbridge Hurricanes and Justin Hall. But uh, St. John awaiting the winner. It'll either be the uh, QMJHL versus the OHL or the W, and this game decides who gets that last spot in round four. Yeah, exactly. But for Riley Bizeau, uh I'd rather win ugly than uh, lose pretty, right? So that's a, that's an age-old saying. So, uh, again, uh, he's going to be a tough matchup for whoever comes out of this matchup. And, again, I keep thinking, like, this could be very well be one of the better games of the day. I know we watch a lot of great hockey, though, Reed. So it's in some stiff competition. Yeah, it, it would definitely be hard to to come out with a, uh, a direct winner of uh, the best game of the day. But uh, certainly this one could be right up there before it is all said and done. It'll be the Edmonton Oil Kings in the Reds trimmed with the white and blue the Erie Otters and the whites trimmed with the blue and gold Williams and Yetman on the draw we're underway last game of the day last half of the Seltos division final is on the line as Maxime Gallaud brings the puck over the line rolls out front of the net tried to feed that along for Yetman that gets knocked loose Drysdale wanted back to the line for Duff and Duff will pick that up in neutral ice Gallaud on for Swankler puck taken away by Robertson who plays along for Lupin. Now Williams across for Jake Neighbors. Neighbors pulls up. It'll be played to the line. Robertson working low around the back of the net. Neighbors had that go past him. Jack Duff looking to play it forward. Captured by Lupin. Duff was right with him. Neighbors has a look out top. Now wants to drive the net himself. Traffic there. Pulled back. Williams tosses it in front. Lupin couldn't find the second chance opportunity. Neighbor saves it. Lupin can't get that cleanly in front. Puck played up the boards. Galad will get there, and the puck comes out of the zone. Great opening shift for the Edmonton Oil Kings. Yeah, they are all over the Otters right now, really showing why they, they are in round three. And that's why right there, Neighbors steps in, down the slot, zings it, post and in. one nothing Oil Kings. Exactly. Jake Neighbors, he's known for having that lethal shot, and he shows it on full display right there. Now Hanyuk picks up the only helper, and here you will have some work to do. We approach the seven-minute mark of period number one. D'Amato tossing it back outside the line. Henry after it. D'Amato takes. Henry into the offensive zone. Plays an out in front. They score. Just like that, tie game, Brandon Sellin on the doorstep. You, you could never count out Brandon Hoffman, and that was just a beautiful executed play going across crease back door, tie game. 12 and a half to go in the first period, and we're back to level. McDougal across the line, plays to Henry. Wanted McDougal back out front, no luck there. Cap plays it along. Keelan up ahead, can't get loose. And that'll be swept onto by the Otters. Spruill in over the line for McDougal. His shot off of a body. Puck played to the corner. Taken along and carried out of the zone. But stolen right back as Erie stays on with it. Morton loose. And Erie can't get it cleanly through neutral ice. Morton back on it. Sidor. Gave that up, and it'll be the Oil Kings up ahead. Working wide on the right wing side. Edmonton again looking to get that cycle game going. Cedor was in front of that, and Morton up ahead. Breakaway chance. Backhand scores. Morton tucks it home. 2-1 Otters. Yeah, what, a, what an impressive goal. Uh, breaking in all alone. There's a nice little juke to beat out the goaltender. And 2-1 now for the Otters. Just 7.21 left here in the opening period. And we know how fast that clock rolls as Sellen leads back to Drysdale. 
Hoffman really trying to capitalize on the advantage that he's built here. Drive to the goal, ends up off the backboards, and now Buck will be carried ahead by the Oil Kings through neutral ice and out. Taken right back, though, by the Otters. Duff up ahead, work to the middle. Can't get it through the crowd. Henderson works wide, left wing side. Doubles back. Runs into traffic, a whole pile up along the wing boards. And the puck will come out of the zone. Gallaud into the offensive end. Just over three minutes left in the first, and they've got another. Right on the doorstep once again. That slide across the front, and the tuck home does the trick. The Erie Otters picking one up from Hoffman himself, and they have a 3-1 lead. That goal only goes in if you nail that pass, and that was perfect. And Brandon Hoffman continues with his impressive skills in the tournament. He blitzed his opponent in the second round, and now looking to do the same here to Jalen Lupin and the Oil Kings, who had such a tremendous opening shift, but Gallaud now ahead, works on. Shot went wide of the net. 45 seconds left in the first period. Puck played down the boards. Kairou drives, that hit a leg. And the puck will be carried along and out of the zone. Five seconds left in the frame. Puck jammed to the corner boards. Campbell spills it behind and that'll do it for the opening period. The Erie Otters will come out of it with a 3-1 lead and an impressive recovery, Brandon, after they were on their heels on the opening shift. Yeah, exactly. The Oil Kings, they started this game with a lot of flair and got on the board right away with a beautiful shot by neighbors. But ever since then, it's almost like you poked the bear and now the bear is wide awake right now in the Erie Otters. And they just looked uber impressive so far. It certainly does look that way. Thanks for tuning in to the Memorial E Cup presented by Kia. Be sure to follow the Canadian Hockey League on Instagram and Twitter by following CHL Hockey and stay connected on Facebook by following the Canadian Hockey League. As we go to the second period, Brandon, what does Jalen Lupin have to do to get himself back firmly into this game? Well, he just needs to really clog up that neutral zone, make it really difficult for Hoffman to even get into the offensive zone. It, it, that would show some bits. Uh, you got to have a little faith in his offensive game, but right now he needs to think defensively. Getman and Williams on the draw. There was a trip down, and the Otters are going to get a power play 25 seconds into the third period. Yepman to take the draw. One back by the Oil Kings. Robertson around back of his own goal. Picks it up for Such. Such across the line, working the right wing side. Looks to center that, taken away. And now Yepman up ahead. Across the Edmonton line, right wing side. Delays to allow help to arrive. Yetman shot off of a leg, tried to send it back for Drysdale. That gets knocked away. Oil Kings looking to break shorthanded. Around the outside, driving the goal, and Campbell had to be strong on the goal line. Swankler wanted it up ahead for Yetman. Didn't get a touch on the puck, so that's icing against Erie with 17.52 to go in the second. If there's anything that could pull the hair out of your coach, it's icing the puck when you're on the power play. Oh, yes, it does. I've done that a handful of times. Yep, myself as well. As the puck over the line, Swankler in front of them. I still do it in men's league from time to time, and my buddies get on me as Neighbors turns it around. Gets past Drysdale. Duff can't get a hold of it. And Fowler tripped down, and a power play again coming to the Otters. Jalen Lupin playing with a little bit of fire here, Brandon. If he allows another and gets down three, that would be a real tough road back. Yeah, exactly. That's the hill becoming a mountain. So this is a big kill right now for the Oil Kings. They're going to have to have it as they break out shorthanded and smartly dump it down the rink. Kairu back to pick it up in his own zone. It'll be played out on the left wing side through the feet, trying to drag to the front of the net was Fowler. Couldn't make that work. Neighbors up in the rush, shorthanded. Plays for Dalhania. Now on to Robertson. Puck poke loose. 
And Robertson into traffic, Fowler will take. And he's gonna carry it on forward. Shot hit the goal post. Now back out in front, save made there. Puck played up the boards. And it'll be the Oil Kings again with a chance. Such ahead around back of the Edmonton goal. Knocked loose, Henry can't get it cleanly out. Gunther's there. Into the corner, we're even in full five on five. That's the shot from the side and it won't go. Cap forced back out of the zone. Sproul can't get a hold of it. And once again, carried back in by the Oil Kings. Brought right to the front of goal and Campbell had to be strong again as McDougal gets it on to Swankler. Little bit of momentum here. Atkinson gets it in deep. Kairou has to play it out for Swankler. Now on to Henry and that should get it out of the zone. Delayed penalty coming again to the Oil Kings. Henry shot partially blocked. Played up the board. Sellens there. Kairou to the middle of the line. His drive wide. But the Oil Kings are going shorthanded again. Otters back to the power play. One thing that makes Brennan Hoffman so exceptional in this game is just how slippery he is with the puck. If you're going one on one, there's a good chance he's going to juke you out. Try stay out the line. His shot into traffic gets batted down. And the puck will be turned back into their own zone. Cap brings it forward. Drysdale after him. Cap spins out of it. Dancing loose to the front of the net. Scores! Great work shorthanded. Cap gets it to goal. And the Oil Kings have life. Yeah, that was just a miraculous play of being able to hold on the puck for so long and being so patient. Really waiting out the Erie Otters on that play for Cap to, to score that one. That was a huge goal. That could be a momentum shifter right there, Reed. Keeler and Schaffler add the assist. Now Hania keeps the play alive in the offensive end. Now gets it back at the point. Right side walking left, tip of the shot goes wide. 15 seconds left in the man advantage. 8.45 in the period. Swankler up ahead. Turning wide, wraps it around the back of goal. Dalhaniuk will take, and now Neighbors on and out of the zone. Atkinson looking to drive wide. We're now even in full, five on five. Puck was set on a tee, but sent wide of the net. Neighbors can't pick it out cleanly, and it's the Otters ahead, but the puck stolen. Back in over the line. Keeler stays after it. Worked wide. Now Gunther out top. Alexander at the top of the formation for McLeod. Back to Alexander, he's pursued. Play would have been offside, so they'll back it out. The Oil Kings really uh, catching their groove right now as they've been moving the puck oh so well, and it looks like they're sniffing around trying to get another. Yeah, they've really found it here in the second period. And that's going to be a concern for the Erie Otters as Morton plays it out high for Kishnick. Down low, Lockhart. Up top, Kishnick. Lockhart once more, fed it across the slot. That one wouldn't go. Gunther up ahead, trying to work wide. Now to the middle, drags, and that one just rolled through the other side. Cohen loose for Sidor. Now Lockhart delays back to the line. Kishnick steps on, just over three minutes left in the second. Morton waits, tries to roll across for Kishnick, finds Lockhart, great pass in the seam but it's stolen away by the check of McLeod. Nice defensive work now for the Oil Kings to stop the Otters from getting clean chances at goal. Cohen for D'Amato, back to Cohen. Minute five left in the second. D'Amato out front, great stop. Cap up for Williams, 30 seconds left in the period. Neighbors knocks the puck loose. It gets batted into the corner on the left wing side. Now carried out, five seconds left in the second period. Maybe one chance here for the Otters. Kishnick has to turn back. Henry across the line, got the shot away. But Casa was able to handle it, and that will do it for 40. Brandon, it's a one-goal game with 20 minutes left and a trip to the fourth round on the line. Yeah, exactly. This game has been, like, oh so tight with uh, both players really stepping up and catching fire at certain times and momentum has been shifting back and forth. I expect this game is far from over, Reed. Thanks for watching the Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. Be sure to enter for your chance to win daily prizes and a chance of winning a grand prize of a $1,000 prepaid Visa gift card. 
Today's promo code is Seltos. And to the contest at chl.ca slash memorial ecop. Once again, today's promo code is Seltos. And to the contest at chl.ca slash memorial ecop. And how perfect is that, Brandon? Promo code is Seltos. And we're in the Seltos division to end the day. One of these two teams will advance to the division final. The St. John Sea Dogs and Riley Bezo are already sitting there awaiting the winner. Yetman up over the line. Puck taken away from him. On to Neighbors. Just past a minute into the third. Neighbors hits the brakes. Rolls out top. Feeds on. Shot is stopped. Rebound. Chance. Campbell gets on top of it. And Duff plays it around. Drysdale. Off the boards and out. Brought right back in by Dalhania. Dalhania up to the front of the net. Campbell onto it. Drysdale. Now for Duff who gets it back. Drysdale for Yetman, open side, Swankler in, out front, puck rolls and Casa makes the save for the Oil Kings, squeezes the knees with 16.35 to go. I think whoever wins this game, uh, one thing you could know for sure is Brennan Hoffman at the end of the day, he's going to know that he's going to have to work on his power play. He was 0 for 3 in this game so far with the Erie Otters, so that's, uh, that's a deciding factor. Faceoff comes outside the Edmonton line on the offside is 16-11 to be played now in the game. Buck brought forward by Gunther. Attacking the net, forced to the boards. Gunther right back out top. Keeler catches. Wanders towards goal, now has to turn away. Looked at the top of the slot. Keeps it alive outside, Schauffler. Run into by Sidor. Schaffler again to the front of the net. Campbell made a quick stop there. Down to 14 minutes to go. Kairou works his way forward. To the outside, Kairou tripped down. And well, here's the opportunity, Brandon. You talk about Brendan Hoffman struggling on the power play so far. This would be a big moment to get one. Yeah, exactly. He's 0 for 3 on the night. And if he could get one here, that would certainly make up for it. Schaffler. Up ahead, Such, not a cap, who's got a shorthanded goal. Drysdale back for the puck. Up for Yetman. In over the line, Chad Yetman for Gallant. Back for Yetman. That one tapped wide around the back of the goal. Swankler in front for Yetman. And Koss is able to handle that. Gallant can't get it through the crowd. Cap up ahead, trying to drive the front of the net. Bounces loose, Campbell's there. Around back a goal, puck stabbed away and sent through both corners. Glod for Duff. Dalhaniuk back into the offensive zone. Ten and a half to go. And Brandon, if you're in the shoes of Jalen Lupin right now, you got to feel the pressures. We're even at full five on five. Yeah, exactly. This is a white knuckle hockey. You are certainly correct there, my friend. Buck brought forward. Selling around the back of the goal. We're under nine minutes to go. Selling around back for Duff. On to Hoffman. Hoffman working it through the crowd. Kishnick. Playing it into the offensive end. Under eight minutes to go. Sellen fed the front. Couldn't quite find Hoffman. Duff. Down low for Sellen. Back to Hoffman who steps down off the circle. Hoffman drives the net. And that one swept away from him. 6.40 to go. The Oil Kings looking to attack up the rink. Working wide. Puck played for Williams. Shot is blocked. Seppola can't get it cleanly through. McDougal won't get it out. Williams out top. McLeod back for Williams. Tried to work wide. McLeod down from the right wing point. Now Seppola ran into Williams and the puck played back to no one in particular. Down the rink with 4.20 to go. Kishnick on to McDougal. This is all going to script for Hoffman right now. Keep the clock moving and get the puck in your possession. You got to think uh, the Oil Kings uh, might want to think about pulling the goaltender to get the extra man. They're going to have to start thinking about it as Kishnick up ahead. McDougal 
over the line, working wide to the front, they score! Cohen, that might do it! 2-12 to go, and Cohen hits the back of the net to extend the lead to two. You gotta believe the Oil Kings are gonna be looking for a timeout and to get the sixth attacker on as quickly as they can. Yeah, exactly. What what a clutch play there by the Erie Otters, and it looks like that might have solidified the game for them as that was a big goal by Cohen. Couldn't have come at a bigger time. Things all going in the direction of the Otters. They had possession of the puck. They've been ragging it through. And now a big, big moment late. Cohen scores and Jalen Lupin and company need a pair. Yeah, so uh, this just became significantly harder for Lupin to get back in this one to tie it up with two goals and only uh, two minutes left. 2.12 to go. McLeod starts out of his own, starts out neutral ice into the Erie zone. Puck poked to the corner. Now carried along Yetman, away from one. Yetman's gonna drive the goal, fed it out. Double pad stack stop from Casa. Unbelievable. Back over the line, neighbors on to McLeod. A goal here would tighten this right up. Puck into the corner, McLeod out top. Alexander steps on, can't get it clean. Puck to Drysdale, 37 seconds to go. Carried into the offensive and backhand score. That one will do it. Swankler bubbles the lead to three with just about a half a minute to go. Yeah, what a move by Swankler. He completely froze the goaltender before just sliding it uh, on his backhand to the back of the net. Drysdale dumps it in. 27 seconds to play. Keeler's going to rush it up the ice. Brandon Hoffman can start looking at round four. As the puck brought out front, Yetman will knock it loose. Kairou playing ahead with 12 seconds to go. Late chance, Kassam Lake the save. Seven seconds left. Brandon Hoffman and Riley Bizeau, the Erie Otters and the St. John Sea Dogs will be the matchup to win the Seltos division. A 5-2 victory for Erie and Hoffman will be standing by with our Brendan Scott right after this. Welcome back to the Memorial E Cup presented by Kia. And now we're going to go to our dual Brandons as Brandon Hoffman gets a 5 2 victory to move to the Seltos Division final and is standing by with our Brandon Scott. Brandon Hoffman, welcome to the broadcast. And again, congratulations on your big victory. Uh, how are you feeling coming out of this one? Uh, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Uh, it was definitely a close one up until the end. Uh, you had a lot of time on the attack, and uh, you know I'm just happy to scrape a win out of it. Yeah, let's uh, turn back the clock to that first period. He got on the board relatively quick, and then you kind of stormed back afterwards. Uh, uh, what was going through your head after he scored that opening goal? Uh, I think it was kind of just uh, stay composed and uh, not let it get to your uh, get to my head. But uh, you know, it's obviously it's pretty tough to recover from a one nothing start. Quick, so uh, I'm glad I was able to. Yeah, and this game was relatively tight to the last two minutes. Uh, what was the difference for you in that in the final minutes? Um, I probably would have had to say the uh, odd man rushes and the uh, goaltending certainly helped. Uh, you know, a big game by uh, Aiden Campbell back there certainly helped me. But uh, you know, a couple of good bounces, and uh, you know, I end up on the score sheet. It feels feels good. And tell me, you're dressed up as Santa Claus again for this matchup. Is that the is that the lucky charm for you? So far, it is. I'll be riding with it. 
Do you ever get like an itchy chin or something wearing that fake beard? Uh, yeah, this thing is uh, a constant pain in the butt. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sweating buckets over here, but, you know, it feels like a real game, you know, so it's, it's worth it. You, you, you know what? You also get style points for that outfit. Thank you, Brandon, for joining me on the broadcast. And again, congratulations on your victory. Thank you very much. Well, well Brandon, Santa Hoffman is now through to the Seltos Division Final, and that is how that is going to add up. And, and let's go through the divisions. Uh, and, and just to cap this day off, tell your ride Division Final is going to be Saginaw and Medicine Hat, Sorrento, Vancouver, and Mississauga, Stinger, Bayacomo, and Acadie Bathurst, Celto, St. John, and Erie. And, of course, Santa Claus stays with us for that one. Uh, we're going to have a really, really fun night on Monday when we see the four division finals. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe we're down to our last eight teams, Reed, as this has been a remarkable journey for us and everyone involved in the Memorial E Cup. And and again, just to, to, to feed off this last game, uh, Brent Hoffman, he's really putting his stamp uh, on this tournament and just how slippery he is with his jukes and uh, being able to navigate one-on-one. Well, we look forward to Monday night now, the four division finals on the board, and we're going to decide who goes to the final four. Four straight nights of Memorial E-Cup action this week, coming your way Monday to Thursday, and we're going to decide everything in this coming week. What a week it's shaping up to be. But for now, my thanks to my broadcast partner, Brendan Scott, and to everyone who made this one possible. I'm Reed Duffy. Tune in Monday night, 6 o'clock, as we start the division championships and whittle down to our final four. You won't want to miss a second of the Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. Brendan's on a breakaway. 